Hi, this is Daniel Nugent, painter and decorator. Today I've got um, all this woodwork to do. So it's like old oak woodwork. Um, as you can see, it's highly varnished, really highly varnished, like a gloss varnish. So basically, um, I'm gonna start off by using a 240 pad with a Merca, just to sort of denib it all um, and key it up a bit. And then paint-wise, I've chosen Otex um, by Ticarilla, the etch primer. And on top of that, I'm going to use Evil Aqua 40, which is their satin mixed to a Farron Ball colour. Um, but the Ever Aqua is water-based, but the Otex is solvent, but um, it dries in half hour. Great primer, but I just think it's the best thing for these uh, shiny, high gloss varnish doors. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll do the process and see how it all turns out. Right, so now it's all denibbed with a uh, sander, as you can see now, it's all kind of like been keyed. So, and there's no like strips coming off because I used a real fine sand pad. So that's all keyed now. So I'm going to attempt to paint it now with this, the Otex by Ticarilla. Um, this is a solvent based etch primer in white um, and you can use water based products over it. It dries in half hour. Really good stuff, really thick. So I'll probably, on this sort of dark varnish door, I'll probably give give it maybe two of these and then two top coats of the Ever Aqua 40, which is 40 is the satin. And Ever Aqua is interior and exterior water-based satin. Um, and this is mixed to a Farron Ball color. Um, all white, I think, Farron Ball all white. So um, yeah. Um, be nice to see how it all turns out. Okay. Right, so before I've taken everything off now, all the furniture, but before I do this door, I just want to show you the preparation. I've got a wedge here, and this is quite a high, look, underneath it's quite high. So I always carry a like, little block of wood and a wedge in my pocket, and put lining paper down, because you can just dispose of it afterwards, it soaks in paint. It's just the easiest thing to slide under any door. So I always keep a roll of lining paper as well. So that's in preparation, so I'm ready to go. So this is the Otex going on, and as you can see, really good stuff. That's one coat of Otex so far. So I've started off getting the edges. You get your edges, and then panels, and then all your cross rails and stuff afterwards. So yeah, this is one coat of Otex. Denib it when it dries. Give it another coat and then two top coats. A four coat system, I'd say. Nice and solid then. So there we go, that's your first coat of Otex. And as you can see, we've gone from this to this in one coat. So I'll fill up these bits, denib, second Otex, and then once dry, it'll be a sound base for my two top coats and water base uh, satin. So it's had two Otexes um, and fine surface filler in all the little joints and stuff, denibbed. Now I'm putting on the uh, Evil Aqua, as you can see in these panels, and I'm using like a uh, short pile um, microfiber sleeve. So I'm cutting it in, rolling all like any broad work, and that's it. Lay it off with a roller, leave it. That's it. So it will blend in. It will blend in nice. So two coats of this, and we'll see the the, the final outcome. So I've seen, I've done that panel as well. You can see the difference already. Okay. Right. So this is the finished product. As you can see, nice satin finish, nice and even, solid, um, and that's all you need. So Otex solvent, Everlacva 40. This is the um, water-based satin, basically mixed to all white, fair and ball. Um, so then two products. Two of them, two of them, gives you this over glossy varnish surface. So if you haven't got a Merca sander machine, then you could do it by hand, sand pads, etc. As long as you just key it in between each coat, you'll be fine. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, please like the video.